Hi everyone, it's Amy. I wanted to share with you a quick video on my finished clothespin uh, graphic 45 kit that I recently got from Jules. And I had requested the 6 inch clothespin. And this is uh, what it looks like. And I'll just go through real quickly um, what I did because um, I was really, really excited. I'm sure you can see the glitter on here and how pretty that turned out, how good it turned out. Well, actually, what that is, is this paint my mother had picked up at Walmart. I think it was like 97 cents. And then we went to Scrapbook Superstation a couple weeks ago, and she had bought these daubers that um, are replacement daubers for your um, inks, your dauber inks. And they fit perfectly on here. So we were really excited about that. So I just took this and I daubed it all over and I got great a great result that I just love and I also daubered the sides as you can see the glitter there I daubered everything actually so um, anyway I was really excited that that turned out so I'll be ordering more of the dauber tops that are on sale at joanne.com right now I think you get like three of them for $2.39, $2.29. I'm not sure, but it's very reasonable. So um, let me go ahead and get started here. I made a lollipop flower that I really didn't like too much, so I stickled it. And in the whole scheme of things, it ended up turning out pretty good. So, And the lace came with the kit. I used these letters here. They're Joanne Essential letters. I didn't have a M, so I turned a W upside down, and it works for me. I like it. So, and then on the side, I put some recollection bling down each side. And then for this side, um, I used the music sheet that came with the kit and some other graphic 45 paper that I had. And um, the ribbon that came with the kit, I just kind of layered it, folded it on top of each other, folded it on top the whole way up, kept folding it over, bending it over. Sorry, it's late. I'm tired. Um, and then to get this effect the whole way up, which I like, and then around her face, I just kind of curved it off. And I like how it turned out. This flower here I made um, from an old book. I punched it out using the Tim Holtz dye, um, the new alteration uh, dye, the flowers. And I used the technique that Jade had um, showed recently on a video, where you just kind of twist the um, petals around. And it really turned out nice. I really like it. And then um, the pearls and the ticket came with the kit. And the great thing about Graphic 45 is you don't have to do a whole lot because the paper is so beautiful. And then, um, like my fingers, but uh, this is a little um, Tim Holtz, uh, the Adosh tickets. I made a fan. And I literally took this idea almost exact from um, a YouTube video that I had seen. And I can't remember the name of it, but ladies, but it was Crop Something. And they showed um, how to put this together. And it's real simple. You just kind of fold your Adosh tickets and make a fan. And then down here you do three, like there's six tickets all together. One, two, three. And then on the third one you glue your sides together. And then you have your little Tim Holtz um, or any little stapler. And you staple them together down here, like each three. Like three of these were stapled together, the other three were stapled together, and then I glued them together in the middle. And then I just put a ribbon around it. I glued a ribbon around it. And I got that idea straight from them. Tim Holtz, tic Tim Holtz tickets and all. And I really like how that turned out. So there was my quick video to share a finished project that I actually completed and I'm happy about because I'm really having a hard time completing a project right now. But thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of your comments and all of the time, everyone that takes time to watch and comment my videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.